runs here. Tonight's soap review will feature a uh, collaboration set between Talbot Shaving and Katie's Bubbles, known as Valley of Fire. Um, Valley of Fire is actually a uh, concept I came up with to uh, commemorate my 10th wedding anniversary, and I approached uh, Talbot Shaving and Katie's Bubbles to see if they'd be uh, so kind as to take on the project, and uh, they both uh, jumped in head first, and uh, we were able to do a pre-order so that Talbot Shaving could get their feet wet in the pre-order market um, for about half of the uh, total quantity of soaps. And uh, the remainder of the soaps, along with the aftershave, um, which has to be purchased as a set, will be uh, available pretty soon on Katie's Bubbles website. So definitely check out Talbot Shaving's Facebook page and uh, Katie's Bubbles Facebook page and website uh, to keep abreast of when the uh, public release for the remaining stock will be uh, available. I know the soap is curing now, so I would anticipate it within the next couple of weeks. Uh, Talbot Shaving remains committed to uh, donating $1 per jar of soap sold to the uh, Trust for Public Land. I'll link that below as well as I'll link uh, Talbot Shaving's information as well as Katie, Katie's Bubbles information below for you to uh, peruse and keep abreast of their uh, upcoming releases. Alright, so Valley of Fire is a duplication of the uh, popular men's cologne Jimmy Choo Man, uh, which is billed as a, an aromatic woody. Uh, my wife and I both quite like this, and uh, she recently re-upped my uh, fragrance for Father's Day, so um, how fitting to now have a soap and aftershave to match that. I wear it quite often and I quite enjoy the scent. Um, notes of this soap are uh, honeydew melon, pink peppercorn, pineapple leaf, lavender, patchouli, and suede. Uh, it's certainly cologne-like. Um, in my opinion, it's masculine. I've heard some folks say this is a more feminine men's fragrance, but uh, I do quite enjoy it, and uh, Mrs. Reds enjoys it, which is always the most important part when it comes to uh, what I use regularly. Scent strength of this is uh, mid-strong, both off of the container, and it stays mid-strong once lathered and uh, through your shaving experience. And the only real similar soap that I know of in the uh, wet shaving space would be the uh, Sterling Soap Company Blue, which is modeled after Polo Blue. Alright, so uh, this is not my first rodeo with Talbot Shaving. Many of you uh, probably will fast forward right now because you've seen plenty of reviews of the uh, performance. But for those of you that are new to the channel, this is the uh, V2 Soap Base, which was released in 2018 by Talbot Shaving. Um, it's, uh, I'd say it's on the firmer side of artisan soaps. It's not, certainly not triple milled firmness, but it's, it's pretty firm. Uh, still loads easily into any type of brush, whether it be animal hair or, uh, synthetic fiber. The, uh, consistency of the lather once dialed in is resembling Greek yogurt, in my opinion. And uh, this soap is quite thirsty, so do not leave it short on the water. Definitely spend the time hydrating it with uh, dribbles and drabs of water as you uh, build your lather. What you're rewarded with once you do that is one of the slickest soaps on the market. This is absolutely super slick, both primary and residual slickness. And the uh, post shave is just superior to almost anything out there. It's, it's pretty amazing stuff. Um, Talbot Shaving doesn't always have aftershave uh, offerings. They only have had this through collaboration. So uh, the superior post shave negates the fact that there isn't typically a post shave product to uh, go with it. You can use an unscented balm routinely if you need to or a... Uh, unscented aftershave but with this soap base you don't need it at all so the uh, resulting shave score is a 97 and the uh, 
performance of soap similar to this would be uh, Declaration Grooming Icarus Soap Base as well as the uh, Barrister and Man Reserve and Glizzard Base. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, absolutely drama-free shave with the uh, Talbot Shaving Belly Fire Soap. I'm going to be using the matching splash right now, which I don't typically do, but uh, kudos to Mr. Cullen for the uh, scent duplication and this amazing aftershave, which I don't see it getting much love, but it's one of the better aftershaves out there. It has quite a bit of skin food, just the right level of burn um, from the alcohol, and it leaves you uh, moisturized for hours and uh, protected for hours after the uh, application. So matches the uh, soap, which matches the aftershave, which matches the cologne that we, we uh, so like here in the Reds household. So definitely, definitely, definitely check out this collaboration soap and aftershave set, which will be available on Katie's Bubbles website here in the very near future. And uh, I'm sure those guys will appreciate your support with the uh, purchase of the remaining stock. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See ya.